Hello guys, my name's Harazar77 and uh, today, or oh, Harazar177 should I say, because, you know, anyway, I've done a bit of research and uh, I find out why I've messed up on the first recording. In the last room, I was supposed to use a lantern to find a switch and that switch was going to open up a hidden passage, so, yeah. Anyway, let's get into the game because, you know, I can't keep stalling for time. Let's see how many stuffs we've got. Oh, I had to use pretty much nearly like three cinder boxes because I was just so confused on what to do. But anyway, let's see if we can try to regain them cinder boxes, shall we? You know, the more we get, the better. Right, it's this way, I think. If I'm. A1 collecte. Right, we're almost there. Here we go, let's put the light on. Ah, there it is. Light on. Nice! Oh damn, what happened here? Okay. Let's see what we need to do. Um That would be nice if there's a tinder block somewhere. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Bredenburg. Oh, damn. That far, huh? Alright then, well, we'll go down there in just a sec. I just need to have a look around. Because there can be some goodies, like these. Um, anything else? Nope. More chairs. More tinder boxes. And another oil. Always helpful to have. Let's go. And what about that door? Is that open that? Oh. Oh. Okay. Never mind then. That door we cannot pass. What about over here? Okay. Um, budge. Uh, might need some sort of item. Caving happened there. Got a door here to the archives. And another door that's been blocked off. Alright then. Well. Do you guys want me to go to the inner sanctum straight away? I want to have a look around. I want to have a look in the archives. I want to have a look around. Okay. Let's have a look around. This doesn't seem odd in any way. Okay then. Um. Hmm. Let's 
see what's over here. Oh no! Actually, I'll talk this one. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Bering. The contact will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg, is to re recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of, an, of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilhelm, House of Gerich. Ah, interesting. Just move this chair. I think I'm gonna do that for a quick bit. Okay then. What's in it? What the fuck was that? <laughs> that wasn't a good sound, whatever that was. I just don't like this sound either. Sound is a bit weird. Do I really have to be over here? 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Okay then. That's interesting. So we're here. Some sort of... Ah, why, Vaz? Why? <laughs> God damn it. Stupid Vaz. What the fuck is going on in this house? <laughs> One on the tinder box. I'll take you. And what's in you? What's in you? Ooh, more stuff. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Just waste another one on that. Yeah, sure. Why not? Is there anything I should be worried about, guys? I reckon there is, but uh, I don't know. Can I like this? Nope. What about this? Yeah, go on there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay then. Let's move on. It's locked. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That was another thing, which I don't want to see. Mementos. The door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Maybe. You never know.
God, this is a big area, isn't it? Bloody huge. The fuck was that? Das Funk. There's nothing in there. There's probably something down here. Nope. 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 <laughs> oh. Nope. 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 Something really did happen here, didn't it? Damn. I have such a bad feeling about this. Interesting in there. Oh shit, Jesus Christ. What the hell was that? The hell happened there? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fragile but not breakable by hand. The tinder box. I'll take that. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Ah. Oh. Mr. Daniel was the old trapped Um, there's nothing else to this room, so we might as well go. So, yeah. Right then. old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. They're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Loads of gear. What then I can use over here? No. Okay then. There's something here that I can use. Oh, there we go.
You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Interesting. The fuck was that? Use a book to smash. Smash it, will you? Alright, maybe if I do this. There we go. Alster and Brennan Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Astalt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbour. Castle Brennenberg, the quiet forest clad, a mountain dressed with scattered lakes, its scattered lakes is as picturesque, picturesque as can be. Albert, the area is haunted by the dark. Any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travellers should indulge themselves in such conversations since Conver conversations. I can't say it properly. Since it will certainly serve as an exciting in entertainment. All of them, there, all of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motives that keep reappearing. Okay. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and for, were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, walked by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid re reverence. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. Oh. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Henrich Cornelius Grappa, the well known Arad. I can't say that. Visited Asda at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he fought for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of one time. Of the time, one day he went to investigate a borough in the northern, northern western glades only to never be seen again. Henridge is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the, the notion of ever visiting Astalt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the, sleeped, the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immoral, the immoral Baron the Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Astalt, and, the, and like the most of these noble birth, rumours are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the, researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from a Rhineland claiming the role as predictor of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family always has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This had fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and, and joined the coverted order of the Black Eagle, along with the great leaders of this country. Ah. It's an interesting read. 
Okay, so what do we do next? So look at these boxes. Nothing there. Okay, well, that helps quite a bit. I'm going to need to use quite a few of these tinder boxes. There we go. Okay, well, there's a puzzle in here, I know. So we've got to somehow do it without messing up, which can be annoying. Another one somewhere. Damn it. There we are, done it. Nice. Another no, no tinder boxes. Guarding closing of the wine cellar. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent, absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest, and he, and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Enter the king's men, leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, it would in a sense, solve both my problems. Dark shit, man. Dark shit. What the hell was that? Just gonna close this. Uh. Hello? Oh. <laughs> So that came from over here. Uh, let me go this way. Oh god, that doesn't sound good. Oh god, he's there! Oh shit! Oh! Oh, fuck me! Jesus! He scared the shit out of me! <laughs> I just ran into this corner, and he was like, right there! I was like, oh shit! <laughs> oh god, that scared the shit out of me! Oh! I better not turn up again, I swear to god! <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. No, fuck it. No, I'm gone. I'm gone. I am gone. <laughs> oh. Ow. Well. I think I'm gonna end this here now, guys, because uh, you, you got a good sense of me being shit scared, so I'll see you later, guys.